Moiga School Nairobi. Really? Did you just have to do that? Welcome back guys. Another week, another video, another Saturday. I think we are going to be seeing this video on Saturday. Probably. God willing. Yes. And I have good news. We have finally passed the 100 mark. And it's all because of you guys. I told it to do it alone. It's all because of you guys. And I say a really big thank you to all of you. And if you are watching this and you are new, welcome to CC's family. Welcome to CC's world. And if you are a returning subscriber, you know how we do it. Like, share, comment. So yes. Today we're going to be doing a story time, another story time, another story time. Hadithi hadithi, hadithi hadithi. So, <laughs> so the story time is about my high school experience. I was suspended from school because of selling illegal items. Yes. I was, I was suspended because of selling illegal items and for other schools this is not an illegal item but for Moy Girl School Nairobi it was an illegal item so the story is kind of long please don't click out make sure you watch till the end of this video because the, it's gonna be juicy as it goes to the end so I joined I joined high school in 2015, 20, 2014, yeah, 2014, and I really wanted, I really didn't want to go to a school outside Nairobi because I'm that person who, like, not like hustling, like the other one, I not like hustling, like the other one, like hustling, like the other one, like hustling, yeah, I have my own standards. So I joined from one my girl school Nairobi. I saw my shule like the first time. Actually, the first time I joined from one, I went to school with snacks. I, I I wasn't supposed to go to that school, but I went to that school because I had connections by my my she was my I don't know. They were somehow related with my dad, and that is how I got that opportunity to join my girl school Nairobi. And so I joined that school, and I was so happy because I knew joining a boarding school is carrying snacks actually me at i was not thinking about masomo snacks so i was so excited because i used to see my brother going to school with snacks having a lot of snacks when you're going for shopping i'm just buying my little snacks because i'm at home i was in when i was still in a primary school and then he used to carry a lot of food yeah so me i was so excited i was like wow i can't wait to join high school so i joined high school and life went on from one from two from three so from three from by the uh, for at from one and two from one especially i used to be bullied i'm going to give that story time if you really want to hear that story time comment down below like share this video yeah so i joined from one from one was bullying a lot of bullying from two from two was just there it was just moving with everything that was coming along and I really had a support system. My best friend, Grace Muthoni, she was my support system until things started going. Ooh, you know, things happen. So, but she's still my friend. So, uh, from three came, and then now I had this cousin of mine. So, this cousin was also cheeky. I will, I'm, I'm some, I'm, I'm one person who's everywhere, like Napinanga. Anywhere Palikuna, okay, not Shida really, but I, I'm just cheeky, yeah. So, um, my cousin was also like that. Apparently, I didn't even know she was in that school, but I, I came to meet her in form two as the year was ending. So, form three has come, nini, nini, nini. so I've been seeing her doing businesses in school, nini, nini. so I'm like, wow, then you've been making all this money just from students' pocket money. I need to join this business and then she was like no you just chill fast when i get out of when i when i finish my form for you guys can start your own business so by that time she was she was actually in form four she was going to finish school so she used to tell she used to show me how these things are done any sneaking uh, sneaking uh food inside school selling things in school so at form three nikakuam janja that and that life continued so i 
she told me this business and i really thought about it and that is illegal that is the main reason why i was suspended from Moita school in nairobi because of selling illegal items which are pin pops apparently you used to tell us that we used to wrap them in bangi so i mean by that time i didn't know how bangi looked like I started the business i went and told my best friend grace at that time so i told her about this business and then she was like yeah we should get into it and then she's this person who's also a hype hyped person like me so i eh, took a flow we went to the flow ni, 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 ni. so we started the business the business went well because the first few weeks the first few weeks we didn't we didn't die, go deep into it but we just tried it because you can't just start a business like that so we approached this staff who's a who was a woman she was like no i can't do that i can't risk my job because of you guys we're going to find someone else so we found this mama who told us okay she can she can get for us the things as long as that as long as we're going to pay her so we were like yeah no problem we're going to pay you anything and then now after some time we started having having problems with her she was like oh i have i i need more money i need this and this my children this and this and then i was like okay it's not like we this was a job for you this is just like a side hustle this is just something that was supposed to help you and help us too so she was like oh nee, nee, nee. Ah, so we asked we, we we just left her because now she started having a lot of problems so we decided to find to find someone else so we found this guy i can't remember the name clearly but i think he was called john t i'm not sure i'm not sure so we found him and we asked him we asked him if we can sell we can be sending him food stuff and then he was like yeah anything i'm going to go and bring for you guys anything that you want just do this put uh, write a list of what you want and put money and and, and 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 wrap the money around that list and put it on the fence and then and us we were like okay fine so we were so happy we we're so happy because the business was now going to boom in that school hey wanna be a shara so we started the business the business went well and well and well after some time more people more people decided to venture in more people joined us we, we started becoming like 10 people in the school selling sweets so we used to have mothers you know guys the way you can have school mothers yeah so we used to have these school mothers who are also lost so when you come on mama come on toto so we were just lost so the business went well ni, 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 until almost third term when things went just turned when tables turned they, we were just from a funky yeah it was a, on a weekend actually it was on a weekend this mama had brought a lot of sweets for us so guys knew that we had sweets so um we decided to sell the sweets when we had in the hostel but now people are becoming so many knocking knocking our the door to our class i want a pin pop i want 10 people pin pops i want this and this so we decided let's sell let's sell like two packets in class and then we're going to sell the rest in the hostel. business went well we sold those that we sold in the um, in class and then we went to, with some in the hostel so after after going with some to the hostel there was a long queue guys like wow if you want to start a business guys go to high schoolers i'm telling you those children have money so uh we went and started selling in our cubicle the line that was there my guys you see like from archives archives to archives to archives to pepinos yeah archive, archives to pepinos like that was just a queue guys who are buying sweets af like why guys had money and then by that time remember we were selling sweets for 20 bob 20 bob and we used to buy a packet which had 50 pin pops for 250 so it's it's like we were buying do the math for yourself for how much we were making and we would buy at least 10 packets or even 15 in a weekend so and we will we used to sell everything so this day we have sold we've sold we sold and then it's like someone snitched us you just know girls and snitching so someone snitched us the next thing i'm seeing the captain the school captain near our hostel she's like a tea she's come to buy sweets me i doubted her i was like i told this girls i may don't think this girl is genuine and then she was like no i just want to buy sweets hey okay we, we gave her because honestly her tungekata kumpia in this business 
Ata kama she's a school captain. So the, yani the, there was demand for this sweet hardy. Some people were like, I'll buy one people for a hundred bob. Mimi, a hundred bob. I can't. But people used to buy. So they bought sweets. Mimi, mimi, mimi. So our school, our, our hostel matron was like we were told someone came and told us the hostel matron is around and when she's around you can't do those funny funny things that you're doing because she was so strict she used to have this pipe like for nini ah what when you're a chapanga what you tao hey like they she used to have this big pipe yani akikuchapa nayo my guy hey you will never do a mistake so we heard that she's around so we cleared our stock faster faster and we told people that you're not going to sell until then on monday yeah because it was on a saturday so we told people until monday we had hey any the money we had guys at our museum so a friend of our friend one of our business partners we went to the other hostel to kiangalia rada so that we can know what's happening inside the hostel so as we are walking my friend had a pink pop imagine she was licking a pink pop so the matron was like and then my friend goes Ati, oh no in her mind her, like i don't know what what was going what was going on in her mind so she's like i bona matron ananita then she goes to the matron and the matron raises a pipe and then the girl moves away then she's like Eating pop me to a bit. No, my friend. No, she's the one. We are the one. We are the ones who are selling the sweets. No, she's confused. She doesn't know whether to say us or just to. We just know friendships when it reaches some point that you don't want to betray your friend. So she's, she's like, Uku. And then Matron is like, Uku ni wapi? Uku. And then Matron told her, Ebu ni And then she's like, our, host, our nini used to be called complex our hostel used to be called complex so she, she said complex complex cubicle gani and then she's like she didn't say the cubicle she said mimi cg i just bought it from complex the matron said let me continue let me finish going round with the when she was patrolling let me finish patrolling and then i go to complex because she was in another hostel so she, she, when we heard that she's going to complex cc how and then we started picking papers of the sweets imagine we are picking papers of the sweets because we don't we didn't want her to find out because she would have found some people eating sweets in the hostel and then she'd be like where well, have you bought this sweet and then people like why five why five girl hey so we went and did that and did that and then we went back to our to our cubicle and then this girl is like no, everyone is angry at her. Everyone is like, ah, wait, now see what you've done. See what, now you're going to make us be suspended. Nee, nee, nee. And then she's like, you guys, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And then we, we tell her, but we told you, we told you, and you knew about this. And then she was like, I'm sorry, guys. Nee, nee, nee. And then all of us were just angry. We're like, ah, oh, let's just sleep. This story, let it just die down. So the following day, we, we, we said, let's just cool down and then we're going to continue the business later let's just see what is happening within the school so time goes time goes and that and that and that and that and then we see that nothing is going on in school no investigation we decided to continue with our business we buy more packets of sweet we continue oh. the business. after finishing the first that that packet like the, the stock that we had like after two two days later we hear the following people are needed in the principal's office. Usha is scared to nikama. Your mind just wants to. I don't even understand. Yeah, there are nini nini. We've been called to the office, and then we used to have this roommate. We are told everyone in our cubicle to come outside. So we used to have this roommate who was so scared. She was like, she was so paranoid. She was like, oh, me don't want to go home, you guys. You you guys are just supposed to say yourself. And then we're like, okay, we've not even be, been asked. You already want to snitch. What's wrong with you? And then she was like, oh, and then she used to fear us. And I, I don't know why people used to fear us in school. And it's not like we used to beat people or something. So she was like, Ati, guy, okay, Mimi, I can't go home because of you guys. You guys just have to say, we're like, okay, just calm down. If this comes up, we know how we are going to deal with it. Okay, so we, we were put in some place in our school when you, you when you did a mistake, there was a ground that you used to, you used to be, be put in. But now the good part is that you would eat the staff food. And that food was... <laughs> so we are there. We've been spaced out. We can't talk to each other. We can't say what... We can't 
we can't agree on what you're going to say we've been spaced out yani guys the whole school is just coming to look at us they're like oh come and see the squad eh come, 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 come see the cool kids squad they're all at the uh, I, I don't even remember that name so we are there nini nini we are being called we are being called one by one to the board of management you say what you have to say about that now mimi i was just so scared but i didn't like i didn't give all the details we're just like yeah we've been selling sweets nini, 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 nini. we didn't want to even see the staff because that was just like losing the job for them so but there's one person i don't know who said say the name of the staff i imagine those staffs were just so after that nini, that was later we go to kazi later so after that we just told go back to class as we're like i when there's nothing going on and i think we are like i mbona to any suspension now we are saying that because we've been released but when we were there we didn't want to even hear the name suspension so after that a few day a few weeks later we had sports day so we are at the sports ground nini, nini, everything is continuing well so i was i was participating for eating competition in yellow house so guys were when guys were going to eat i was told not to eat i was hungry but i was being told not to eat so that we can win the competition because the competition is just after the lunch break so i decided not to eat after that just when we were going back to the field and then someone just went there and she was like announcement announcement the following people are the people who are in the principal's office last week are needed in her office right now so we go there now we are tensing this now this time around now we are tensing we are so tensed up so we go to the administration block and then we are told go to go to go to the hostel and wear your uniforms what happened to kajua story misha so we went to our uniform nini. so when we were in the hostel we were like what do, when do you think we've been told to wear these uniforms do you think anything bad is going to happen do you think this and this and this is going to happen so we're just trying to figure out what was, what was happening so, so we've not even washed our clothes because i and my squad used to wash our clothes on weekends like we used to do everything together we've not washed our clothes all of us have dirty clothes but there's this grace we saved that day <laughs> so we we wore the clothes and went back to the administration office just as we were walking to the administration office guess who i see my dad i'm like wait a minute is that my dad and then he was the first one to reach my dad is always on time so i'm like Wow, I keep, we are being suspended from school. And then my uh, uh, the, the the principal actually she's the deputy principal comes and tells us if you've seen your parent come with your parent to the office. So I just go greet my dad. My dad is just faking. He's just like ah oh, he didn't know what was happening at that time. So he's like oh, hi oh, what's happening? Then I told her. Then, then I told him that's just going to the office. You're going to hear what has happened. So I go into the office and then my my like my family, all of them didn't believe that I can go for suspension. So I just go, I just go with my dad to the office and then the, the deputy principal is like, so these girls have been selling sweets and this and this. They've been making profit of this and this and this. So I want them to give me the profit. We're like, oh, after that we go home. We can't go home and then you're telling us to give us our to give you our profits and you don't even know where we got the money from. So my dad was like, ah, let's just get right to right to the point. Give me the give me the paper. I sign the things. Let's leave. So he signs the things. Uh, we are told to go to the hostel and take our bags. So he just tells me go pick everything where you're going. You are you're leaving the school. I'm like no, I didn't want to leave the school because I was I I knew my dad would take me to a Nyanza school and I didn't want that. So I, was like, I I I told him I've washed most of my clothes. I can't carry everything. So I that was after I came. He was like, have you carried everything? I'm like no, my clothes are some of my clothes are wet. I can't carry everything. Then. Uh, we went I went I and the whole squad went to the field so we, we told our friends that we had been suspended from school let me tell you guys we stopped everything like we stopped everything some people used to say that we were bullies but it's, there are some people who just loved us genuinely so we were suspended from school guys cried I'm telling you that sports day ended like evil everything just stopped guys were crying <laughs> Like, like the form fours the form, and we were just form threes the form fours like most like it was just a sad moment we felt so bad and then 
it was an indefinite suspension so we didn't even know if we were going to come back so hmm, we leave the, we leave the school so my dad is like those christian songs is like so you know like i don't know what that song was that but he was just a it was just a song that made me feel so bad honestly i just felt so bad i was like honestly what is this i'm doing to my parents my parents have paid a lot of fees and this is what i'm doing in school as soon as i'm back to school this nonsense will all stop so i'm like hmm. my dad is like okay are you hungry do you want to eat i'm like yeah i'm hungry because i i told you i hadn't eaten so he tells me okay go buy food and then you come he's just in the car waiting for me i buy my food we come to the house so when i reach the house <laughs> My cousin is like, eh, na mitcha, mi raka I'm like, no, si mitcha, mi me for suspension. He's like, ay, easy, where is he for suspension? Come here for real. I've been sent out of school because of uh, because of selling illegal items in school, and that's why I named this thing. I, I named this this uh, I named this video this because that was the exact thing that was written on my suspension letter. I wish I had it, but I'll look for it and I'll show you. So, guys. Hey, my, I, I, my brother is like, and my cousin is like, what? See, your mom is going to be angry. I'm like, what? I feel like Una shout, Una shout. Then he's like, but no worries, just go talk to her. So I, I didn't even go to where my mom was. I first went to the sitting room. Then I found my brothers there. They're like, okay, honey, what's up? I'm like, just chill, you guys are going to know. So I leave my suspension letter on the chair and I go to bed dining room so my mom is on the other side of the kitchen when my mom opens the hatch she sees me she's like hey eh, nini kwa nyumba then she, i'm like nimefukuzwa umefukuzwa nini i thought i paid all uh, the full amount of school fees and then i'm like no nimefukuzwa shule then she's like mbona and then she, now she comes to the sitting room and then she asks me mbona and then i show her the letter and then she tells me si wonge i'm like just read it now i'm just pointing it at her then she reads the first thing on the letter is like su indefinite suspension for selling illegal items in school imagine you would think i had killed someone or something or even sell cocaine in school and it is just a mere pin pop really did you just have to do that anyway it's the past this is just a story time so guys, my mom's like, oh, hey, umeanza kufuta bangi shule? Umeanza kuuza bangi shule? I'm like, wait, I don't even know how bangi looks like. Like for real, on that time, I didn't know. She tells me, ati, kwani what basi ni nini umefanya? Then I tell her, just read the thing. And then the, uh, in, the, in the content now, the letter was like, they've been selling sweets and and eating fries from outside nini 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 so my mom is like honestly this is why they've sent you out of school because she she used to even help me sneak snacks into school so it was just nilikuwa nime mueza so she's like okay okay we, you're just going to wait for the two weeks and then you go for the next meeting so i went to my room i cried you guys i cried that day i cried i was feeling so useless to my family guys i was just feeling so useless and then i was like even my brothers have not got a suspension and i'm a girl and i have a suspension really so um i went to my bedroom after crying my mom came into my bedroom she was like you don't have to cry i'm like no you know but people are people now are in school reading and me i'm just here at home and then she's like okay but you chose it for yourself and it's too late to cry right now and then i'm like maybe it's too late so then i just go to sleep the next morning i wake up and then i i, I pick up a book at i'm reading my mom comes into my room and she's like i'm like wait a minute is this my mama is this my mama <laughs> so i'm like okay wait okay maybe she's gone for suspension she knows how fe this thing feels like so i'm um, i watch movies like that period was just so boring but the good thing is just i is that i used to eat my mom brought for me a lot of food pink pops everything that i was asking for my mom brought it for me yeah so we went after the two weeks we went back to school the indefinite suspension the school uh, like we were 
that day was just so hectic because you're just taking us around when you go to the, when you enter the room they're like why are why are your nails long you go again why you where have you done this and this and that time remember you're with your mom so every time you sent out of the office your mom goes out with you and comes back with in with you like our parents were so frustrated i was feeling so bad for our parents they didn't even get a break to go and have something to eat like it was just so bad so yeah that was just it but at the end of it we were accepted back to the school but now from that time we were separated like the whole school we were separated we we're told not we were told not to be seen together but we still used to see each other like 24 7 and yes and even right now we still talk yeah but this those were just high school dramas you guys just get so yes uh thank you for watching this video if you really like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment like share because sharing is caring so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video bye